The objective of this lecture is to study grouping with link. We know there is a group by clause in SQL. Now we shall understand how to apply that group by clause with the link. Before we proceed further, let us try to understand what is group by. In case you want an understanding, then we'll proceed this way. We'll first explain what is group by. Suppose there is a table. This table is having two columns. One column we can say is containing a value like type and here is a numeric value. Suppose type A, there is, there is a record of type A having a numeric value 3. A type of record B having numeric value of 2. Then again type having numeric value of 1. Then B 5. Supposing a table is having a column that can consist of values in a certain range. For example, in this particular table, this column can have values only in the range A and B. Values could either be A or B. So this is a sort of a category column. So if you have a table that can be put into a category like thing. Another example would be that in a company you have employees as developers. This is type of the employees developer. His name is N and his salary is 40. Then you have another a type as manager, his name is something and his salary is 30. Then some other employee again developer, his name is something and his salary is 50. So you can see that this column is containing data of only certain type. It could be DEM and maybe S for senior manager. But still at the end of the day, this is a certain uh, specific values that are possible for this column which means this column can have values of only a certain type. If you have a table that can be thought of that that will look like this that is having one column which can have values in a certain type and then against that column you have at least one arithmetic column which could be a salary, height, certain rating let us say. So you have column, one is column of the type which consists of a range like thing and then there is another column which consists of numbers. So if we want to group this table, we can th think of this table as a uh, as a virtual combination of two tables. One table consisting only of records of A and the other table consisting only of records of type B. This can be thought of as a table that consists of two virtual tables. One is consisting only of the developers and the other is consisting only of the managers. If it is possible to have a table in which these col one column is containing values of only a certain subset, and the other column is a numeric, then grouping is possible. Supposing we want to perform arithmetic only on type A and arithmetic only on type B. Suppose we want to find the sum of these columns of all A and of B, then grouping is possible. How will that grouping be possible? It will create two imaginary tables, one consisting of only A, the other consisting of only B. And what the end result would be? End result would be a table which consists of only two columns. One is the type, the other is the arithmetic. 
and it will have only as many rows as many types are possible on that column I will write this as arithmetic. So suppose in the original table the type possible is A and B. Then here this new resultant table will consist of only two records one for A and the other for B. And the arithmetic will contain sum or, or, or the maximum or the average. So we can group a table, group the records of a table into categories. Arithmetic only on A, arithmetic only on B. This is achieved by grouping. Coming back to another example. Suppose you have a table. We have an employee of type D. His name is N, N1 and his salary is 50. Then employee of type manager, his name is N2 and salary is 40. Then D, N3 and salary of 60 and so on. More records M, N4, 55. Now if this is salary and this is type, suppose we want to find the total sum paid to developers and the total sum paid to managers. We want to get this statistics. Then we can and we are interested in getting a table where a summary is available D, M. Only two records, one for D and the other for M. And here the total would be 110 and this would be 95. So this is grouping. Creating two imaginary tables and summing their and performing arithmetic on their right uh, on their numeric record and summarizing them in a new table consisting just the number of records as the variations here here variations are 2 d and m and here also d and m are the variations we might like to find the maximum salary of a developer so in this case we'll group on developer d and the arithmetic would be max Remember, in case of a group by clause, arithmetical column is to be there and the group by column is to be there. In the end result, no other column would be there. This column will not find its place in the end result. So end result will only contain two columns, one column for the variation, the other column for the arithmetic. Had there been a third type, salesman, then one more column would row would have been added here, S followed by the arithmetic. It has two columns for the type for the arithmetic and number of rows is same as the variation in the type column. This summary, this report is done with the group by clause in SQL. But it is possible to do this in link also. So for this we shall now understand how to do it in link. We shall start by creating a model and then we'll create a list consisting of the model. So I'll summarize the steps. First the model. Second create a list that is data source. Third write the query. And fourth execute and display the results. So these are the steps we'll follow to demonstrate how group by is possible in link. So let us first of all add a model for the category. We'll add add class. So since we shall be following an enumeration, we'll add enum. Uh, we'll we'll write it. Uh, C. We'll write it item type and click add. Now we are not going to work on a class we will create an enum for this because our purpose is to create the category first. Something that defines a category. So we are writing laptop 
comma mobile comma software so we have added a added to our models an enumeration of item type this is public enum item type this defines categories generally when you are having a database complete database then you have a parent table that consists of certain of these categories like these item code for laptop could be l and its value and description could be laptop this could be a parent table that defines the categories of products m for mobile s for software and l m and s would be foreign keys into a child table where one column will be a foreign key and this will be foreign key and here l something l something m something so this is the parent table this will be one to many relationship so since we are not doing databases at present we are using the enum for creating a category so in this we have put three categories laptop mobile and software let us now add another model add class and we'll call it c order data and click add this is our model here we can write public enum uh, sorry public item type item type and we can write item get set so order data has a property called item that can be that can assume only one of these three values laptop mobile or software because it is of the type enum enumerations are basically named constants so when you write laptop there you actually mean that it is something having a value of 0 mobile is having a numeric value of 1 and software is having a numeric value of 2 so these you can think of some numbers so when i write public item type item then what i mean is that item will not go beyond laptop mobile or software because it has been fixed as item type so it will either have a value of laptop or mobile or software okay then i can have another column for public int amount this is the billing amount and then i have another column for public string invoice 2 that is the person against whom that order has been made so this is our model now we'll create model objects in our home controller we we uh, have simply added a hello world for present so we can add a function called get data public string get data and here let us create a data source list uh, this will be c order data ls is equal to new c order data so c order data will want a resolution right click resolve this one and now we can quickly add certain items so here we have randomly added certain records to the list we add ls dot add new c order data item property is laptop amount is 40 invoice to is n1 then item mobile item laptop item software mobile laptop laptop software so we have added certain items here some laptops some mobiles and some software so item is a property that can consist of this range then we have an arithmetic property numeric property and some property in the main table that says to whom that invoice was issued 
Now our objective is to find to display the total invoice against laptops, against mobiles and against software. Since we are to create a summary table, this will be done with grouping. So as our first step, we already have the database. And now let us write a query against it. So we can quickly type the query. And now we can explain it. The query is, you are doing a group by clause on the list ls. So we are writing ls dot group by. There is a function already available. It says group by the first column. First item is group by the data type of the collection. The collection is holding objects of type C order data. So this is the first argument. It has already been there in our previous exercises also. This is always an argument. The second argument is the data type of the column in which keys are present. The varying columns, uh, the, the subset columns like for example we had developers and A, B in our previous examples. So which is the column? It is item is the column. And what is its data type? It is item type. In a real example, supposing we have the case of developers, we would have a column like employee type and employee type we would have written D, M, S. Then what is the data type of these? It is most likely to be where care or maybe care. And when it is actually cast to uh, your uh, uh, when it is uh, when it is translated to your model then care, where care, they all actually translate to a string. So it is a string type and when it is to be converted into C sharp then this would be replaced by string. So in that case care, where care, these columns will actually be converted to string for the dot net. So in this, that case we would have written ls dot group by C order data comma string. So group by this is the type of collection and this is the data type of the column against which grouping is being done. So okay, and the, what is this? And what is this? This is the name of the column on which you are grouping. This is the data type of that column and this is the name of the column. The name of the column is item. We are grouping on item and the data type of that column is item type. So we have written where query is ls dot group by c order data item type x goes to x dot item. This fits our query. So to, to revise it again the data type of the collection, the type of objects the collection is holding, item type is the data type of the column which is being grouped and this is the name of the column that is being grouped. And how to query the results and perform arithmetic that we will see in the next step. So here, here we will have to run a for each loop for displaying the results because we'll get three columns, three rows, one for laptop, one for mobile and one for software. So we can write a for each here, for each where v in query and before this we can create a string builder, string builder sb is equal to new string builder and we can now write sp dot append format and what we are going to append is uh, we will uh, write category is equal to 0 sum is equal to 1 
and we can just put that HR here. So how to read the category? V dot key. Key will give me that category and how to perform that arithmetic? I can write V dot sum. So it's a sum of the C order data collection and here I'll have to tell what is the numeric column against which calculations are being done. So I'll write amount here. So I'll bring it more clearly here. This key will go into the zeroth column zero. When the first time this loop runs key will contain laptop the second time it will be so it is basically giving you a key and the corresponding arithmetic here. It will display the sum against that key. So key will be laptop mobile or software and this will be the sum against that key and this is the column on which you are performing the sum. And then we can return sb dot to string and once this is complete we can replace this one by return get data and now let us run it and see the results so here are the results the total of all laptops is 200 mobile is 110 and software is 50 so we can recapitulate everything here we created a collection this one was the collection then we wrote a query group by this one is the type of elements in the collection this is the data type of the column against which we are grouping and here we are specifying which is the column on which we are grouping we are grouping on the item column then execution was being done here string builder for storing the results for each where we in query this query is going to return us a table of two columns it will return a table of two columns the first column would be called the key and the other could be called the sum average or whatever we want to perform and how to access these so it will contain three records so we are accessing them in a for each loop for each record in query 0 will be the key, key will give me the laptop or whatever and sum is 1. The sum column can be obtained by writing value of, value of that sum column can be obtained by specifying the arithmetic operation here. V dot summing is done against the column. So this is how we can perform group by using link.